Today, I'm going to share a wonderful story with you once in ancient India. Our Maha Bodhisattva, whom we called the Buddha to be, was born to a family of traders. He grew older and he became the leader for 500 caravan of traders. So they packed their food, water, and rations to cross long, long deserts. So one day while they were traveling to sell their goods to faraway cities, they came across to an edge of a desert. So in order to get to the city, they had to cross this desert. So this wise Mahabodhisattva, this young trader decided that it is very harsh and it is very dangerous to travel this desert in the daytime because the sun was too hot and the sand was too hot like burning charcoal. So they decided to travel in night and to rest in the daytime. So they arranged their cards in a circle in the daytime and they rest under the cards, under the shades, and they started crossing the desert in the night. After a couple of days later, the desert guides said that they have reached their destination and they are one night away to the city. So the traders was very happy and they ate everything that they had and they drank their water because they had to reduce their weights in the carts. So while traveling at the night, the desert guides lost their path and after traveling a long circle, they returned back to the middle of the desert. Now when the sun rose in the next day, they realized that they had lost their way and they have come to the middle of the desert. Now they are in the middle of the desert, and they have no water, and they have no food to eat. So everyone was purged, everyone was tired, and everyone was suffering from thirst. So everyone gave up all of their hopes, and they laid down on the hot sand, resigning their life to the fate. But this young trader, our Maha Bodhisattva, thought, if I give up my hopes, everyone will die. If I give up my courage, everyone will be in danger. So I must find a solution to cross this desert. And two, I must find a way to find some water to these people. So while our Maha Bodhisattva was walking here and there thinking of a solution, he saw a bunch of grass has grown on the desert. Then the Mahabharata desired if there is a bunch of grass, there must be a stream of water running under running beneath this bunch of grass. Then he called to everyone and said, dig under this bunch of grass and you will find water. Everyone was happy and they took their spades and memories and they started digging a hole in that place. After hours and hours of digging, they came to a surface of a stone. Everyone was tired. Everyone was crying because they could not break this dawn. They could not find any sign of water. Then everyone laid down around the hole and they started crying and started yelling at the leader. But our Mahabodhisattva didn't give up. He searched for a person who has the courage to do something about this disaster. Music. Then he called a boy, and Maha Bodhisattva said, Son, if you give up, we all are in danger. Take this sledge and start striking to the storm. There must be water beneath the surface of the stone. This boy was courageous enough to do that. He believed in the words of the tradesman, and he took the sledgehammer, went down to the hole, and he started striking hard to the storm. First, strike the stone didn't break second strike, it didn't break third strike. It did nothing. He summoned up every part of his, the strength, every single strength that, that was inside his body, and his strike striked hard to the stone surface. The stone surface broken, a huge gush of water cascaded from the storm, filling the hall within. No time. Everyone was happy. Everyone drank water. Everyone fed their oxen and they filled their vessels with water, and they started traveling. They started crossing the desert again, and finally, they reached to the city. Happily, dear children, dear devotees, sometimes when we try for our success, when we do the things that make our lives successful, it seems a bit harder. Sometimes you may feel that you, you are, you should give up. Remember, you will fail only if you quit, if you give up. If you did not give up one day, you will achieve the successfulness in your life. Therefore, sometimes success may be one step away from our life. All we need to do is go for that. Do that, take some risk and find your success in your life. Because doing these things, doing the things which makes our life better, doing the things which brings the happiness to our life is hard. So you have to remember that if you give up, only you will fail. Therefore, never give up. Always work for your success. Although it is hard one day that success will make your life happy. So never give up being a good person and never give up being successful in your life.